serious to the funny, uh, to the sublime. So let's start with the uh, fun, silly, and uh, on the right day, sublime. This book cracks me up. It's called Pajama Pilates. So it's like little Pilates exercises that you can do like before you get out of bed. So in the morning, you might be tempted to like check all your emails or check TikTok or Instagram or something. But instead, you can do, and these actually work. I, I have tried a bunch of them. Now, I don't want to tell you some of them you could do while checking your email and your Instagram because they involve your core and not your arms or your eyes. So this is, like there's sink squats, there's um, a foot roll. Oh, you could, it also has like ones you could do in, ki in the kitchen, ones you could do. Anyway, if you do even one or two of these, my, um, I'll tell you what happens for me. I'm righteous the rest of the day. I think I've done it. I've done my exercises for the day by doing pajama Pilates. I just think this is the most fun. So check that out. Um, now, uh, at the polar opposite of uh, pajama Pilates is a book uh, that we had as a book discussion, a book club discussion the other day that I think is a a, just a brilliant book uh, that's a and it's an important book it's a brilliant book I encourage every every one of you to read it it's called what strange paradise by Omar L Aqid and it is about um, refugees but it's told through the eyes um, of a nine-year-old boy and a 15-year-old girl that befriends him and tries to save him. Omar is just a beautiful, exquisite writer. This is a complicated story on a complicated issue, but I guarantee you, you will not read headlines in the paper uh, where you want to turn away about refugees or ho the horrible ramifications of people dying um, on boats that have sunk where they've tried to escape violence uh, and human rights violations in their country. It's serious, but it's important and nobody better than Omar to lead you through that story. So I do, I, I really hope you pick uh, this book up. It will kind of rearrange your brain. Um, now, I know th this is like wide-ranging topics we're covering, but I interviewed for the Just the Right Book podcast the other day, Sarah Rule, uh, for her book, Smile, the Story of the Face. So Sarah Rule is an absolutely amazing playwright. Um, she uh, has taught or maybe still teaches at Yale Rep here in New Haven. So I've been a fan of her plays for years. Well, this is her story of uh, being pregnant, uh, delivering twins, and then developing Bell's palsy, which is your face getting uh, paralyzed. It's often um, short-lived, but in her case, it was long-lived and it affected her smile. So this is Sarah Rule's memoir. It's about being a playwright. She's funny. It's about how much of how we behave is how we're viewed physically, how we think of ourselves. You know, like if we think we look gorgeous, somehow we look gorgeous. And if we don't think we look gorgeous, we're, it changes every way that we operate. Sarah Rule was hysterical. We're, we're scheduled to start the interview. Everything's all set up. Our podcast engineers and everybody, no Sarah, no Sarah. Turns out Sarah's car broke down and she ended up, she is just a champ. She ends up doing this interview from the side of the road on her way from Providence home to uh, New York. And I loved her before, I love her more. Um, and treat yourself and you'll just be happy listening to Sarah Rule. Um, then, boy, these really are a complicated combination. So the, this book, The End of Bias by Jessica Nordell is, she's a scientist. 
Um, and the subtitle of the book is The Science and Practice of Overcoming Unconscious Bias. So this is obviously a, a um, tough subject. It's, it's an extremely important one. So here's what, among the many things you'll learn from this book, which I encourage you to read, is this. That a lot of times we say, well, I'm not prejudiced, I'm not racist, I'm not misogynist. And then somehow we end up doing things that seem at odds with our values. And you think, well, how could it be that I'd be doing something at odds with our values? What she helps us understand is that stereotypes and biases that get built into our brain, the reaction is so quick, we don't even realize that we're behaving in a way that's ingrained in us. We just, we just don't get it. You will learn so much from this book. And Jessica, the combination of her storytelling, her research, and her science, like this is a book, I'm, I'm going to hope to bring Jessica uh, to Connecticut um, next year when we start to do live events because I think for corporations, for groups, if you want to begin to think about how our judgments and behaviors are informed, she doesn't rely on anecdotes, she relies on studies. It, it was fascinating, I love talking to her. You could listen to the podcast. Um, I urge you uh, to read the book, and it's called The End of Bias. And then I'm going to end on this note. Todd um, Dowdy is a publicist at Doubleday. He's been a huge friend of R.J. Julius. He represents, like, big names, and we just love him. Now we love him even more uh, because he wrote a book. So as you could probably tell from my posts or whatever these things are called, um, I like a lot of serious books on a lot of dark subjects. I'm not a big fan of happy books, um, but this is a happy book, and I really liked it. It's called Little Pieces of Hope, Happy Making Things in a Difficult World, and it's like fun little things, and I do think we ought to pay more attention to Little Pieces of Hope. So I hope one of these books is something that you love or read them all. Uh, take care.